I have closed all of my Bitcoin long trades from the current range that we are trading within. So in this video, I'm going to explain why I have closed those longs. I am remaining in my short trades and locally, yes, I am expecting lower prices to come next. So let's jump over to the charts together and I will explain fully why. And I'm already hoping you know the reason why I've placed a lot of emphasis over the past few days of trade the range till it breaks. And what was the last trading opportunity that we had? It was a short trade off of the range high. Of course, I did not have to close my longs at this point, but I have. And let me explain to you in this video why. For that, I'm going to cover the past few days of price action that we have seen. And then, of course, I will end moving on to what I am expecting next and the future price targets and trades that we have upcoming. So first of all, you know, looking back now on the 15th of February, so a little while ago, we had, you know, really simply the first start of this original range. And it's like I was saying, this is the most helpful thing in trading. And it's just finding these mini trade mini ranges before everyone else. If you can identify a range before it's even a range, then you can see the edge that you have on the majority of the market. You know, thinking in these mini ranges, getting that fixated in your brain, that's the real, really the best and easiest way, in my opinion, to be making profits in the market. You want to try and find them before anyone else. Now, this is a very obvious range. Okay, here we are now on the 21st of February, very obvious range. But back on the 15th, it was not so obvious. It was looking like a strong uptrend at the time. But in these periods of strong uptrends, you are going to have these consolidation ranges and pullbacks, right? So first of all, what happens yesterday then? Well, really simply, of course, during the day and during the previous course of this week and low week prior and the week prior and the week prior, right? I have been very bullish. I have not been in any short trades and I have been in like a long and chill expecting higher prices to come. And for me, it was simple, okay? For the past few weeks, you know, yesterday in the morning, I was expecting the same, at least to the range high. So it's like I was saying, if we had, you know, while we were in trade in this section, fallen down from here, if we had full on rejected, if price had dropped prior to taking this high. So if we just look back a little bit in time at here, and if price had dropped here, I have made it very clear. I would have held up my hands. I would have said, hey, I was absolutely wrong on this decision. I have missed the short trade. And for me, that would have been very bad news in terms of losing a lot of my profits, right? So I had the bias that was bullish. I was not going to short prior to making new highs. And if we had of falling down, I would have said absolutely I was wrong. But thankfully, once again, I was right with that bias, looking for new highs as we made them. OK, we made them coming in just prior to the New York Open yesterday. We got the new yearly high so that bullish bias played off as we made new highs. And really simply for me, what do we do when we get to the range high, which is what we were waiting patiently for? The patient patience paid off once again as we made the new yearly high. And then it requires check the reaction. And for me, this was a reaction that was worthy of the short trade entry. So like I was telling my team, we have the acceptable short trade once again at the high of the range. And what really was interesting to me at this moment in time was the order flow. And I want to talk you through this. So we had a massive amount of longs opening in at the very high of the candle. As you can see here, a delta volume candle of 7.3 million. And the most interesting thing, of course, is the open interest increasing. So we had a massive open interest increase, okay, with high positive delta. So that for me signals, just like we had millions of shorts opening at the low, which gave a good long trade a few days prior, we then have now millions of trap longs at the range high for a good short trade, right? So it's kind of this theory of trade the range until it breaks. We got up to range high, okay? We ended in a rejection candle, lots of longs opening. We start to trade back into the range. You know, this is just, you know, this is the short opportunity that you've been waiting for. You've remained patiently long and bullish for the range high. You've now seen the reaction. You've seen the order flow, which is backing up for a really good short trade. Visually, you've got a short trade entry. But when we pair this with the order flow, and that is obviously where I am I kind of excel in trading because I'm very good at reading the order flow. And I saw this and it just gives me even more confidence to stay in my short trades that I took, you know, 
prior to this want to stay in that because i've seen the signs we're trading back into the range we have trap longs at the high all of that together of course is coming in and this is what it looks like of course when we have we're going back to the 17th of february what we had in terms of trapped shorts at the low remember here 7.3 6.3 million shorts opening at the very low of the range so here, back on the 17th of February, see here, 17th of February at the low, we had millions of trapped shorts, which gives a good long trade entry. And then yesterday, we had millions of trapped longs at the very high, which what? Gives a very good short trade entry. So me, upon seeing this, I am taking the short, of course, closing out of my longs, because for me, I'm always a little bit more cautious when it comes to drops in the market. So I'm happy to close the long that I took from range low uh, fully and enter a short trade at the range high. The most important thing is, of course, locking in and taking that short trade, not becoming hesitant. And we can see we had a bit of a drop. And why did I not long here? Why am I not doing anything else? Because for me, we quite slightly front run the range low. So for me, this is a opportunity, of course, for, for some people taking a long back up here. I did not long this because I didn't actually see the range uh, low taken. So for me, this was not a trade opportunity. So at this point on the rally, I just have to remain patient in my short trades. There's nothing really for me else to do uh, because you know I'm not going to long after this rally. wasn't a it wasn't an opportunity here. So I'm really simply remaining patient, looking for a still lower and the range low. So I spent the first few minutes explaining that short trade yesterday, why I took it in terms of trade the range till it breaks, in terms of the order flow. And really, you know, this is why I teach you the ways that I do. Okay. It's, there's no, um, this is the way that I'm making a lot of profits and it's the way that I can see champion members that are trading alongside me are too making a lot of profits, right? So whether you're longing the range low, which is of course fine, whether you're shorting the range highs, trading these ranges are the ways that you want to absolutely reap the profits, okay? So it's like I said on Twitter yesterday. Um, this is why I teach you to trade the range till it breaks. I have took my short trade on Bitcoin. And of course, I alerted all of the champion members to my short trade entry to upon taking that short trade. So then now we can reap the profits of any drop to come. And of course, we did see a drop to come, which are still in turn of now. And what I like about this comment is this guy is still learning, Nikki here, but it's all coming together. He says he can truly recommend chart champions if you take trading seriously and you want to become successful. And then he thanks me and the rest of the chart champions team. You can see it's he's, he's learning, he's in the process, but it's all coming together. It's all clicking. What is that clicking together? It's taking shorts at the range highs and, well, naturally, you'd be looking for longs at the range lows. But this is what we want to do is we want to educate people, teach them to trade, OK, get their skills locked in. And then once they've gone through the theory, that's when you can start trading. Right. And this was my short trade position uh, from that range high, which, of course, I'm still in right now. And as well as some other champions here, which is nice to see. So I want to end well, not end the video, but I want to just remind one final thing here. And that was what did we do when we first originally recognized this range? OK, we recognized we short range high, we long range low. Yes, I am repeating myself because I want to emphasize this fully into your brain. OK, so what happened when we had the original short back on the 15th of February? Fake out of the range high, of course, a short trade trading the range till it breaks. So that gave us a short from range high. What do we look for next? We look for range low. What happened next? Well, we got down to range low. And at range low, what were we given? A long trade, trading the range till it breaks. What do we look for next? We look for range high, okay? And what did we get next? We got then yesterday, right? The swing fire pattern once again of the high or a fake out of that high for once again, another short trade entry, okay? So what does this all equate to? This equates to three trades taken from that range, Three guaranteed wins. Trading the range till it breaks is so far given 100% win rate with, of course, massive profits off of those trades. Why are they such massive profits? Well, it all come down to having the original plan, right? We were originally planned for the short at the range high to bring it down to range low. Then we were planned for the long at range low to bring it back up to the range high. And then yesterday we were planned for the short trade off of the range high 
once more. So what I want to say now is three trades, three wins, the short trade entry, which actually I did not take this one, by the way. So I've only taken two, but I did take the long down here and that gave me a nice win. And I closed that long, took my short trade up here, which has, of course, given me currently a very nice win. So let's say you took all three. That is one trade, two trades, three trades, three wins. Let's say now we do this and we take a long at range low. I would not close my short at this point, but we take a long at range low and then it falls down even more. Well, then that's a losing trade, right? But we have just walked away with three winners, one loss, or in my case, two winners, one loss. Well, of course, I'm still walking away with very big profits because let's say I take a 1% loss here. Well, I've just made a winning trade of the long, which has gained me around 4%, and then a short trade at that point, which of course would still be running for around, you know, let's say 5, 10, 15, 20%, etc. So that is what I really want to emphasize. I'm going to say it one final time before I move on to what's happening next. And that is trade the range till it breaks. I've taught this for years. There's a reason why I do this, because like I said originally, this is where you get the best new trade opportunities. Yeah, trade the range, wait for the reaction, make the profit. Those were my words, and those words held true. We have made the profits. Of course, we can be having biases, we can be having predictions, but at the end of the day, the simple range to be trading here is what is bringing home the profits. Okay, that is the... This is what we do. And again, if you want confidence in trading these ranges, if you lack those confidence, maybe you're getting a bit too bullish at range high or a little bit too bearish at range low. And of course, this is where the champions group is very helpful. Not only do we educate you to get you up to the speed so you are self-reliant and can make those good decisions on your own. If you're not at that level yet, then of course, educate yourself with us. But at the same time, you know, I'm giving you little heads up of um, confidence boost, as we could say, you know, if I'm telling you it's a good short when we're at the range high, you, you might be uh, hopefully help to with that, right? And I'm telling you it's a good long at range low, you know, hopefully that can help you. And then like yesterday, if I'm coming in here and saying, you know, it's an absolutely acceptable short trade, you know, very nice in terms of the order flow, in terms of the reaction, you know, if I'm telling you this is a really, you know, this is a good short trade, I'm taking the short trade, then, you know, you're probably going to be, uh, have a confidence boost to, to take some short trades. And these were my entries, holding both of these right now on the USD and tether pairs, uh, all around the very highs right now, around 52,800, right, which is the range high. So that is enough talking about that. I hope that it's been a useful 12 minutes, you know, really emphasizing some key points. And my mission of this video is to make you understand, learn, educate yourself, and get to the process of being a consistent, profitable trader. I know I can do it. I know I can get you there. I just need you to listen and, you know, write some notes. Take this seriously. It's like like the, the comment over on Twitter, right? If you are taking this seriously, I, I can help you. I, I can help you, but I need you to give that effort on that, that same way that I'm putting in every day, the effort of coming here, making content, and, you know, really trying my best to, to get you there. I need you to put in that same amount of effort, because if you do that, we together are going to make you into a good trader. And that is what I want. That is what I want to do. So, yeah, I think it's going well so far. And so I want to end by saying what I'm expecting next in the market, right? So my next future targets that I have. Uh, one quick thing that I want to say before that, and that is that I'm actually for the first time ever uh, writing the Chart Champions newsletter of this month. And so if you would like to get involved in the newsletters going forwards, of course, for the rest of the year. Uh, and for my first one that's going to be written coming out at the end of this month of February, you can sign up for it, right? I'll leave the links. Uh, it's free, of course, to join the newsletter. I'll leave the links in the description down below to sign up. And one thing that you do have to make sure is if you sign up and then for your spectator, contender or champion account, you will have to come over to your profile, click on your name icon in the top right, and then click on profile, click on privacy, and make sure you tick the box that you're happy to receive newsletters and marketings. Click on save, and then that will update your preferences. So you are actually going to receive the newsletter uh, because if you don't tick these boxes, if you're not signed up for the newsletter, of course, you won't get it. So if you want to get my newsletter, it's a free newsletter. I, I, I had some fun writing it. So if you actually want to read it, uh, yeah, I'll just leave the links in the description down below. And that's all I want to say. I uh, hope that you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it, right? So 
and they'll be going on forwards throughout the year. So for me now, yes, going forwards, I have closed my longs from this range. So this long that I took here is closed. Why? Because I had a big enough bearish reaction at the high to warrant full closure of that long and entering a very nice few short trades. Now I am remaining looking for lower. Why? Because this was a front run of my range low. I do believe we are not going to hold these higher lows and I do believe that we are going to break down lower here. Thus I am not longing yet and I, I am expecting lower prices to come here locally, right? So from here I am remaining patient for, guess what, the range low. Then I will make another informed decision. I will either trade the range to it breaks if we get this fake out, or if we do not get a bullish reaction, then of course I'm gonna be looking below $50,000 to our zone around the daily, right? So what am I looking for? I'll have an alert set at the range low. Upon hitting that alert, I can look visually, and most importantly, check the order flow. Once looking at the order flow, this is where we can make these really nice informed decisions to tell us if we have very nice short trades, for example, at the range high, or if we have very nice long trades off of range lows, okay? And this is all coming from the order flow to give us those heads up. So that's going to be what I'm looking for next. It's as simple as that. Now, you know, I am not in any short trades locally, okay, from the range. Of course, I still have them from lower. But locally here, out of shorts, in my out of longs, in my short trades, and I am looking lower next to come. From the lows, as long as we don't hold the higher lows, I'm expecting new lows. That's what I'm looking for. And from here, I'll make my informed decision. Upon hitting that alert, do we get the fake out? If we do, I can confirm this with the order flow and look for the long trade. Alternatively, we do not get the reaction what I want and we continue down below $50,000. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Again, if you want those confidence boosters, if you want to have the whole educational library, don't forget the newsletter. If you want the whole educational library, access to the competitions that we're running, you can see champion members doing very well this month. If you want access to the competitions uh, where we're giving away prize money every month, uh, the inbuilt journal, right, the best deals that we've got going on right now, and, you know, really simply the whole educational library, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. There you will get it as well, access as a champion member to the Discord. So I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope it makes sense. And I wish you a very good day ahead. Thank you ever so much, champions. Love you. And I'll see you over on the Discord. Cheers. Goodbye.